What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make really, really cool cinematic transitions in Vegas Pro 18 and basically any version that you guys are using. What we're going to do today is actually something that I've done in the, in the past, but right now it's a little bit better. I tweaked a lot of more things and I think this is going to be really, really useful for you guys. So of course I made a little montage to show you guys what kind of transitions are in this pack, which is completely for free. You can find it in the link down in the description, but first, First, let's go ahead and take a look at what this package contains. Alright guys, so these are just a couple actually transitions of the entire pack. This is not all, not even close. There are a lot more. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install these, how to apply these, how to tweak them a little bit. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And I would say let's get started with these awesome transitions. Of course, as always, right after the intro. All right, guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, this is the project that I have open where I made the montage in with all the clips and all that. So I left a link down in the description. You want to go ahead and download it. It's completely for free, guys. And if you have it on your computer, you got to download the preset manager for uh, Vegas Pro or Sony Vegas Pro. I'll leave the link down in the description as well. So if you have all of that, if you download the preset onto your computer and also the preset manager itself, if you open up the file, so right here, this box, it says preset manager 2.0, Vegas Pro 18, transition package so if you double click on here you will see the effects change folder if we're going to double click on that right here it will open up all the transitions that are in there now of course the cool thing is that you don't have to go ahead and install these all manually you know one by one what you want to do is just want to select them all by holding your left mouse button and just drag it and then you want to click on this icon which says copy the system now you don't need to even restart vegas pro you can as you can see i have vegas pro open in the background so you don't need to for example like save your project and then just reopen vegas if you click on copy the system them. As you can see, I already have them, but I'll just do it one more time for you guys. Everything is installed. We can actually get started with this. So I have a clip right here of me jamming. I'm not going to delete the audio because uh, this is for my uh, album that's dropping in 2021. So I don't want to leak any footage yet. So I'm going to just delete that one. So let's say I'm going to pick this part right here. I'm just going to uh, cut it and then I'm going to pick this one. And then we need another clip. For example, this one where I'm also recording. I'm going to delete the audio for a second. So then I have this part. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit. So now you guys see that I have two clips because of course you need two different clips in order to make that transition happen. Now, I think, you know, the most of you guys that have been subscribed for years and have seen hundreds of videos of mine know how this already works. But for the people that are new and or maybe like kind of forgot about it and people that knew it at first, it is actually pretty simple. So these presets work actually with, you know, only at the end part of an entire clip. So you're not going to drag in and a preset onto this entire clip. You're going to always make a little small cut at the end of the first clip and at the beginning of the second clip. So let's say that we're going to count five or six frames back. So I'm going to stand on the very edge. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So if I go back one, two, three, four, five frames, and then I go five frames forward on the next clip, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to make a cut. So right here, you can see that these will be the really, really tiny parts where we're going to apply that transition on. All right. So now that we have cut it and now that we decide where we're going to put it right here, it says the EVEX chain button next or the event effects rather next to the event pan crop so we're going to pick the first one and this basically works in two sections so i'm going to show you guys right now if you click on here here are all the presets so every single transition even if it's just one exists out of two you know presets that you need to pick so the first one is going to be a and then the second one you know the second transition on the second clip is called b so that's how it works so let's say that you want to use for example the slide left what you want to do is you want to pick of course slide left a for the first one click on add and then we're going to click on okay we're going to close this out for a second then we're going to go to the first clip of the second one and then we're going to go to the event effects and then we're going to pick slide left b which is right here because of course the first one is slide left a so now we're going to click on add and click on okay now our presets and our transitions are in here so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like 
Okay, as you can see, that looks really, really smooth. But but if I go on a frame by frame, it could be a little bit better because, of course, right here, you can see my can and my speaker and my cap and all that are getting mirrored. So that's where we want to go to the event effects button. And right here, we have the keyframe. Now, we want to drag this guy all the way to the end of the clip. We're going to also do that for the second one, the event effects. We're going to drag this keyframe all the way to the end. And then let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a really, really quick one. And that's a very very nice transition so let's go ahead and remove these transitions for a second okay so now that i remove them as you can see right here what we can do is we can go to the next one which is for example if i go to effects chain right here it says for example let's pick the zoom in a now we're going to click on add click on okay now we're going to go to the second clip and we're going to pick of course zoom in b so now let's click on add and click on okay and let's play it back right now that looks really, really cool. And if you want to have this one like zoomed out right here, because of course right here, as you can see, it zooms in. If you want to have this one zoomed in like that and this one zoomed out, we can go back to the event effects and we can replace this guy with, of course, zoom out B, which is this one. Click on add, click on OK. So now that we have a first zoom in and then into the second clip, we have a zoom out. So this is what it looks like. That looks really, really tight. And if you're going to add in some color grading as well, like I did on the uh, the official montage from the intro, you're going to add in like some really, really, you know, opacity, low kind of light leak effects on it. And, you know, the proper music, because, of course, these clips are not graded yet. This is just raw from the camera. So this is just really quick to show you guys how this actually works. And it is that simple, guys. These are basically a lot more transitions that you guys can discover. The link to this package is down in the description. It's completely for free. And I will also leave the link down below to the pre preset manager that you need in order to be able to install these presets into your DAW and that's basically how it is guys this is how to do it you can add this with multiple different drone shots or travel footage or whatever you guys are editing or even montages when you're making a kill you can make like a really quick zoom out it just the options are endless guys the link is down below and these are basically more cinematic you know transitions for Vegas Pro 18 and basically a new other version that you guys are using all right guys so that's it for this video now you you guys know how to use these amazing transitions that you can download completely for free through the link down in the description along with the link to the preset manager for vegas pro 18 actually you know versions below that you don't necessarily need like vegas pro 18 in order to use this one it is actually just compatible for all versions so guys thanks a lot so much for watching and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one